Got it. Maybe there. Now I always do all that shaking around for all of you. It never feels good, I'm sure. Make sure you have a towel, your yoga blocks if you need them, your mat. And it is 7.00, we're ready to go. I signed on right at the last second today. Um, today's our last in our six week sessions. And the GBU would like to bring me back for another six. So um, that's wonderful. We'll start again next Tuesday at seven and same time, same place. I believe she'll have the same link out too. So that is awesome. All right, today, so we're gonna work some more core and we're gonna work our appendages. So appendicular skeleton, we're going to use our fingers a little bit, our toes, our ankles, our wrists, and then get into a little bit of flow for your core work. So let's take first your fingers and we're going to make them into claws. So you're going to take your pinkies first, the next finger, the middle finger, the next finger, and the thumb, and then make a fist. So my thumb is still on the outside. You're gonna draw up your hands down, stretching through the back of the wrists. Good, keep that fist if you can. And then we're gonna draw the hands back, separating the finger, stretching through the back part of the wrist. Good, now bring your hands facing me again. We're gonna do it again. Pinkies all the way to the thumbs and make that fist. Drop the fist toward me and back. Good. All right, now just give those wrists a roll Go in one direction and in the opposite direction. One. Now let's take our hands and fists and we're just gonna figure eight through the wrists. And notice my elbows are down. So I can just focus on the stretch through the wrists. Good, I'm sitting up tall. Let's take it in the opposite direction. Sometimes that's a little bit of a mind game, but. And of course, if you are not comfortable sitting on the floor, Please take a seat on a chair. You can also use your blanket and prop your hips up. Now, we're gonna bring our elbows out. You're gonna press the tips of your thumbs together. Your palms are facing down toward the floor and you're gonna press the hands toward me. Good, press the hands toward me. You can feel that outside of the wrist, stretch a little bit, keep those shoulders away from your ears, bring those thumbs all the way back to your chest and press out. Good, nice job. All right, let's drop, wiggle the fingers. We're gonna lift the arms overhead. So take a nice big inhale, looking up at the sky. And as you bring the arms down and behind you, we're bringing your chin to your chest. So let's inhale, exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, exhale, chin to chest. One more time, inhale, exhale, chin to chest. 
Making a sweeping motion with your arms. We are taking them forward and opening the chest back. As you come forward and rounding chin to chest. I believe we did these in session one or two, but we're adding the breathing to that. So exhale as you round through your back. Inhale as you open your chest to the sky. When your hands come out, the backs of your hands are pressing together. And then the palms are coming out with the thumbs up. Let's take one arm over to the opposite side, the other arm over to the opposite side. So we're just sweeping those arms across using the shoulder. Good, you should feel this in your sides a little too. Nice, you can do it on the blanket, on the chair. Now let's reach overhead. So you're going to reach, keeping that arm by your ear, getting all the way through the side body. Reach that arm as high as you can. And now let's cross the opposite hand and reach. So here we're crossing the right arm and stretching over with the left. Good. We're moving a little faster than we usually do. Just so there's no pain, and if there is, just move a little slower. That's okay, too. Good. Now, hands on the legs. We're going to work through the thoracic spine. So as we do, we're going to take a couple steps here. So chin to chest. We're going to round. Then you're going to press your ribs over to the left. Press your ribs to the front. Grass thumb to the opposite side and back. So let's start on the right now. So ribs to the right, ribs to the front, opposite side and back. Now let's make a big circle. We're gonna take a fluid motion now. So think about in the front, you're arching. The ribs are coming out on each side. Good, just allow the body to move. And in the opposite direction, come around. So the thoracic spine is your mid spine. So that's where you should be feeling a lot of this motion. Good, how are you feeling? I hope you're feeling as good as me. All right, let's shake it out a little bit. Now just the shoulders. Let's take big circles here. So this time, bringing them up toward your ears and down your back. Wonderful. Now shrug up to your ears and allow the shoulders to melt down your back. Make that space between your ears and your shoulders nice and big. Good. Elongate your spine. Let's take an inhale. And the hands stop right behind your head. Elbows are out. We're pressing your hands into your head, your head into your hands. Maybe opening the chest a little more. Shoulders are still melting. Let's drop one elbow over to the left and over to the right. Maybe feeling more of a stretch here than you did before. Good, other side. And up. <sighs> nice job. All right, let's take your feet in front now. So if you're sitting on your chair, this works. If you're sitting on your blanket, this totally works. We're going to take and start with the pinky toes. This is going to be hard to do, but we're going to just press the pinky toe down, the second toe, the middle toe, the next toe, and the big toe. And then lift the toes up and do the same. Drop, drop, drop. <laughs> Again, drop, drop, drop. Now, we're gonna try to lift each toe up. So start with the big toe, lift the big, lift the second, lift the third, lift the fourth, lift the fifth. There's a lot of thinking going on here. Let's draw and then start with the big toes. It's so important to try to keep that articulation through your toes. Tend to lose that as we get older. So let's try it. It's very, it's good to have that mind-body connection too, all the way down to the toes. I can tell I need to work on it more. What about you? Okay, let's flex and point. So dorsiflex, you're pulling the toes up to the ceiling, your heels are pressing down. 
Now we plant her flex. So in this position, I want you to try to lift the heels up a little bit off of the mat or off of the floor. Lift and lift. Lift and lift. Good. Whew. It's even hard to keep my, uh, my toes on the ground when I try to lift that heel up. Just notice all of those sensations. Don't really react, just know what you need to work on. Good. All right, now let's roll through an ankle. So to do this, we're better off laying on our back. So let's sit in front of our mat, grab onto the backs of our knees and gently roll to the mat. Straightening the left leg out. Let's take the right leg up and just do a complete circle with the right ankle. Work through all the motions. And we'll take it in the opposite direction, pointing the toe and flexing the feet as you come around. All right, good job. Now pull that knee in a little more. We're gonna bend and pull the heel in toward the hips. Straighten the leg, bend and straight. Now, if there's no way you can get that leg straight out, that's totally fine. Keep it bent. You're still feeling that stretch there. That's all I want to see. Now, I did a few with my toe pointed. If your toe was flexed, do the opposite. So now you're going to flex or point and straighten and bend the knee. Nice, let's pull that knee in. We're straightening the right leg, bringing the left up to the sky and circling. You might notice it's easier on one side to circle than the other. I've had a few sprains on my left side and it's, it's a lot harder, but I have broken my, little, my right foot. It's still easier. All right, opposite direction if you haven't yet. Oof, yeah. All right, now let's keep it pointed. Pull the leg back a little more. We're gonna straighten and bend that knee. Good, you got it. And let's flex the foot, doing the same straighten and bend. Good. Let's bring our knees in and start to rock. <clears throat> now our chin is going to pull to our chest. We're lifting up, pulling those knees in, pointing the toes, tucking the hands behind the head. So hands separating the fingers, they're there for support. We're going to take one leg straight out, the other knee pulls in, and we switch. Right here, your abdominals are fired. Lower back presses into your mat. Good. Your chin is to your chest. Elbows stay wide open. Fingers stay open. Good job. Let's try one more here. And pull the knees in. Let's roll around or <laughs> rest your head back and Rock back and forth. Those are the words I'm looking for. Good. Now let's take both feet on the mat. We are going to roll onto the right side. So as you roll on the right side, you want both arms straight out in front of you. So my left hand is stacked on top of my right. In this position, if you're not comfortable for your head to come down to the mat, you can take your blanket and prop your head up and we're going to take the top hands my left hand we're going to drag it all the way across the right arm across your chest and reach to the back taking your gaze toward that arm as it extends behind you now you can also take this arm the bottom one and cradle your head with it 
I find it's, it's better to have both hands out because you can really reach past that hand and give it that nice stretch all the way back. Taking your gaze back, I'm actually hitting my wall. Hopefully you're not. And reach past that hand again. And take it across. And reach that arm up to the sky. Connect the hands. And let's start making a large circle. So we're gonna start with the circles over your head. Keeping those fingertips close to the floor, allowing that gaze to follow the hand. And it might not follow it all the way around, but as much as possible. And we're gonna take two more like that. If you need to take them a little slower, that's fine. There are some points here where you feel a little tighter. Just stay in that one area for a second or two, and then slowly move on from there. And let's take another circle. Shoulders and neck is a very popular place for people to keep and hold their stress. This helps you to uh, distract from that tension. Let's take the circles in the opposite direction. So the fingertips are still touching. They're sliding along the leg. They're behind you. You're looking back at that hand coming all the way around, beautiful. And just stopping and pausing at any of those sticking points. And of course, breathing is so important here. Make sure you're taking those yogic breaths. <laughs> I have all new words today. Good, let's come around this last time on this side. All right, now if your head <clears throat> needs a little prop, we're gonna take the right arm under the head now. If you have your blanket under your head, that's fine too. We're gonna work with the legs now. So we're straightening the legs, they're at a diagonal from your upper body. We're gonna take the top leg and lift it up in the air. We're gonna make a nice big circle with that leg. So come around. You don't want the right hip to come off of the mat. We're taking these through the hip. The abs are tight. Upper body stays where it is. And let's go in the opposite direction. Belly button to spine. Good, keep tight. And one more here. Nice job. Good, now both knees pull in. And let's roll on to the other side. I'm still gonna face you, but move away from my closet here. So both arms straight out. Use that blanket if you need to, or even if you have a pillow or a towel, you can put it under your head. Reach past the left hand and let's drag that right arm across your chest. Look back at that hand, extend it all the way back. Lift that arm up and reach past the left hand. Drag it across, keeping the shoulders away from your ears. Reach that arm up, take it across and pull. This time when the hands connect, we're making that large circle start over your head. Bring it all the way around. Your gaze is following the circle. There's really no need to go fast on these. Just feel every sensation through the shoulder muscles, ridding yourself of all of that stress. Let's take the circles in the opposite direction. If you're not done in that direction, keep on going. Still breathing.
Good, pause at any sticking points. We have one more circle all the way around. Nice. Let's prop the head up with the arm. Straighten the legs. Take the top leg up. And let's make that nice big circle. Take it around. Good, still breathing. Wonderful. This is a little bit of Pilates. And in the opposite direction, let's take it around. And pull the knees in toward you. Wonderful job. Let's come up slowly on hands and knees. We're going to keep those hands stacked right under your shoulders and the knees are under your hips. Let's roll the toes underneath and settle back to the heels. So let's move back and forth from there. Find your neutral spine. Find length in your neck. Good, just rocking back and forth from the front to the back. Now, separate the fingers and do the same. Go a little past the wrist now with the shoulders. Nice. Let's take the right hand now, reach it up to the ceiling. Reaching up, opening the chest, taking the gaze up to the ceiling if you can, and taking the right hand underneath, bringing that right shoulder to the mat. The hips are still in the air. And let's release. And now take the left hand up in the air. Take an inhale from here. Good, good, good. And tuck it underneath. Reach it to the opposite side. Left shoulder comes down. And let's release. <clears throat> From here, we're rolling our toes back under, finding our neutral long spine. We're lifting your knees up in bear. So if bear pose is hard for you, we're gonna try just one knee at a time. So I'll show you the regression first. One knee at a time. <clears throat> You're gonna bring the right knee up. Your toes are still digging in. Now bring the left knee up. Drop the right knee. Now, if that's enough for you, I'd want you to stay right here. Focusing on squeezing your belly button to your spine. If you're able to, we're lifting both knees up and hovering them off of the mat. Go ahead and go for it. From this bear pose, we're going to come up into downward dog. There, downward dog. There, and downward dog. So bear pose is a very core, very core heavy. Their core has to be very strong to be able to do that. Let's move through the heels, just pedal. Good. We're going to take the right foot through the hands into your low lunge. So let's lift the gaze up to the sky. Good. And bring that right leg back. Bring your left foot forward. And again, lift up. Good. 
The left leg comes back into your downward dog. From there, let's drop back into your bear. Drop down. Good. Cover those knees if you can. All right, I'm going to have you drop down. Now, we're going to take a couple kick throughs. So I am going to move my mat a little bit just so I'm not kicking my closets in the back. So the kick throughs look like this. I'll show you the regression first. So if you can, just lift your right knee off of the mat. You're going to keep your left hand on the mat. Twist. Take the right hand by your head and kick the left leg out. Now, if you can't hover that leg and the hip, bring the leg all the way down to the mat. You're lifting your chest. And we're looking back at the hand. And bring the hand back down and pull the leg through until that right knee's hovering again. If you're in bear, we go from bear with both knees up. We're gonna kick the left foot through, left hand and right foot are on the mat and we're pulling our arm back, hovering this leg off of the floor. Good, come back. And it's okay to start in bear, to be in that hover and drop your leg too. So let's try it one more time on this side. So bear or modified bear. <laughs> Keep the left hand and right foot on the mat. Face me, kick out. Good, wonderful. Come back. Bear and drop your knees. Let's rock. Maybe do circles with your body. Whatever feels good here. Those kick throughs are wonderful. Very core demanding. That was the word I was looking for before. See, I can't form sentences today. All right, so the other side, I'll show you from this angle. I'm not gonna switch so you can see what it looks like from the back. So if you're modifying, you're taking the left knee and hovering. You're keeping the left foot and right hand on the mat as you turn to the opposite side. We're kicking the right leg out and the hip comes down and the leg comes down to the floor. Keeping the chest high, pulling the elbow back and coming right back to that position, hovering that left knee. Now, if you're in bear, we're lifting. Keep the right hand and left foot on the mat. Keep that right leg out. And come back. Good, how you doing? We're gonna do one more on this side and then we're gonna add them together. Lift and kick through. Good, watch that form and we're back. All right, how did you do? We're gonna add both together. Downward dog is first. Downward dog to bear. So let's come up in your downward dog. And you take your bear either with both knees hovered or the right. We're gonna start on that side first. So let's come down to your bear, neutral spine. Kick out to the side. Left hand, right foot stay on the mat, we're kicking out. Good, stay here, stay here, stay here. Whew. Open the chest. Plant the foot and the hand back on the mat to the other side. Good, keep those abs tight. Lift the chest, lift the hips up in the air. Let's pedal those heels. Good, back down to bear. And again, find that neutral spine, long spine, kick it out. Wonderful, come back. Other side, kick it out. And back, downward dog. Good, drop to bear and drop your knees to the mat. Toes touch, let's settle back. Two child's pose, deep breaths here.
Now, a few elements we're going to add on to that is a crab reach on both sides. So for crab reach, we are in, we can either be in a back bend or a modified back bend. I'll show you regressions and the progression. So you'll lift up in your bear. I'm gonna start to twist, we're kicking through. We're gonna bring that foot in. And if you're doing a modified crab, you're gonna bring the other hand back. You can stay here with your hips hovering off of your mat, or you can lift up from here. Just dropping your head back enough that it's an extension of your spine. It's not hyperextending behind you. And then we're gonna drop down. Take the right hand and left foot off of the mat. And we go to the other side. So let's lift, twist, take it out, kick. We're gonna drop the foot and drop the hand. Keep it low or lift up. Good, drop, take the right hand and left leg up, twist, and let's take it down. So the progression on that, we're gonna kick through. So let's take bear, kick through, drop the foot, keep the hand where it is, lift the hips, and we're looking down at the left hand. Good, release, calm down nice and slow. Bring that foot through, back to bear. How are y'all doing out there? This is something totally different we haven't done. So I hope you're liking it out there. I'm sure you're doing an awesome job and rocking it. Let's go to the other side, the progression. You're in bear, we're kicking out. Don't be afraid to breathe. Drop the foot, keep the hand up, lift the hips, and drop. You're stacking the shoulders, drop the arm. Good. Bring the arm forward. And back to bear. All right, and what do you think? You wanna add them all together? We can definitely do it. All right. So let's come up into our downward dog. So dog, pedal, do whatever you need to do here. I'm gonna bring it down to your bear pose. Long spine, we're kicking through. So let's peel the hands and the foot off at the same time we're kicking out. Nice. Now let's bring the foot in, take your version of the crab, Good job. Release, drop the hips, and comes down into bear. Other side, kick through. Drop the foot and reach and grab. Take it down. Lift up, back to bear. Woo! Let's settle back. <laughs> settle back to child's pose. This actually works so much better on a little bit of a more slippery surface, more like a um, wooden floor. The mat holds you back a little. Deep breaths here. And let's roll our toes under and then place our hips back on the heels. The arms are still crawling out in front. Facing our palms in toward each other. Let's lift our hips a little higher and look forward. Take your gaze through your hands. 
You can bring your forehead down on the mat or your chin. Good, let's keep the elbows on the mat and allow our belly to drop down. Elbows right under the shoulders. Our hips are pressing into the mat and we're lifting our head in Sphinx pose. Separate the fingers. Now we're pulling the elbows in toward us as we lengthen the neck. Good, let's rest here. So our chin is on the hands. We're gonna take the right hand, reach it out to the side, the palm is down. The left knee is going to pull up a little closer to the chest. So the knee is bent. We're taking the left hand, Pulling it in under your left shoulder and lifting up. Take your gaze up to the ceiling so you can stretch through the front part or anterior delt, front part of the shoulder. Breathing. Maybe taking the gaze up and maybe not. Let's release the leg, pull the arm in, take it on the other side. So the left arm comes straight out. Roll a bit on the left side, bringing the right knee up. And again, we're looking up the ceiling or if that does not feel right, just look forward or down at the mat. Good, let's release the leg, release the arm, both hands under the shoulders, pelvis pressing in, Legs are nice and long. Lift up in your cobra. Wonderful. Let's settle back again. Settle to the heels. Let's pull the hands in. And gently roll on the crown of your head. So we're hardly putting any weight on the head. We're just letting some blood flow through. If your mat is on a hard wood surface, I probably wouldn't do this part, but if you have a blanket or something soft, you can definitely do that. Just promotes blood through blood flow through uh, the cranium. Good. We're making sure that you're not compressing the neck. Let's raise up. So hands and knees are on the mat. Let's go through a few cat cows. Breathe with me. So let's exhale. Inhale, arching. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Wonderful job. Let's take our feet to the front. We did stay on the mat the whole class. <laughs> That's okay sometimes. Let's allow the arms to relax and the palms up. And they're just dangling over the knees. You can sit in a chair, prop your hips up with a blanket. We're gonna end with some neck stretches. So let's take your chin to your chest. Take the chin up to the ceiling. And looking forward, taking the left hand on the right ear, allowing the weight of the hand 
to settle the left ear onto the shoulder. So we're not pulling. Good, let's release. And on the opposite side. Deep breaths here, especially if you're feeling a lot of stretch. Good, let's release. We'll start our circles with a chin tuck. So we want our shoulders melted down our back, tucking the chin in, making that double chin. Drop the nose to your chest and just make a, a large circle, slowly taking that nose all the way around. Good. Forward, shake it out. And in the opposite direction, tuck, drop the chin. Take that circle around. Good, we're looking forward. I shake everything out. Out of everything we did for me, the next circles are the hardest. <laughs> That's where I hold all my stress, right here. Let's slowly roll on our back. Oh, pulling your knees in and let's rock side to side. Rock in circles. And pressing the soles of your feet together. Let's allow the knees to fall to the side. You can use those hands to help. And let's pull the knees in, into your chest, the chin tucks in, straighten the legs up to the sky. This is hard on your neck, just lay your head back, point and flex your feet. Straighten the legs out on the mat, pulling the left knee into your chest. Let's tuck the left foot to the inside of the right leg and draw that left knee to the right. Left arm reaches back. You can take your gaze and look back at the hand. Ah, oh, it's the best stretch. And let's release, pull both knees back in. Rock, circle. And let's straighten the left leg out, pulling the right knee in. Tuck the right foot to the inside of the left leg, reach the right arm back. Good, release. Again, massage your lower back. Get the legs out one at a time. Full body stretch, arms overhead, pointing the toes. Let's reach both arms 
to the top right hand corner, both legs to the bottom right hand corner. Take your right hand, grab the left wrist and cross the left ankle over the right. That's a nice mermaid stretch. Of course, we have to take it on the opposite side. <clears throat> Mine always feels better. All right, good job. Let's release. Let's take our hands now. Away from our body, the palms are up. Relax the shoulders, separate the feet, allow the toes to drop out. Let's take our hands into fists and just hold that fist. Release, wiggling the fingers. And take and bend your arm at the elbow, squeezing your bicep muscles, pressing your shoulders into your mat. Let's release. Next, both shoulders tuck under, allow your head to drop back. And release. Let's take the belly, squeeze tight. released. Now your gluteal muscles are squeezing tight. Hold on to that squeeze. Release. Now the muscles in your legs, let's flex the toes back toward you, lifting the heels off of the ground. Squeeze all the muscles in your legs. Release. And one last hold, pointing the toes. Squeezing. And release. Wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Move the arms and the legs. If time allows, more than welcome to just lay on your mat, meditate. If not, let's roll onto one side. Press to a seated position. I thank you all for being with me this six weeks. I hope you've learned a lot and had a lot of advancement in your flexibility. Let's end this evening with a deep breath. Namaste. Thank you all for being here. Wonderful job tonight. I know there were some new concepts that we went through. I am practicing to be an animal flow instructor. If you haven't seen that, it is um, wonderful shapes and motion on the floor. Um, it, it's pretty awesome for flexibility and mobility. So you were all helping me get there. I hope you like those moves. I love the crab reach and the side kick throughs are awesome for your core. I'm sure you felt that too. But we'll start again next week with our first session and we can still incorporate a lot of core work. I think um, the first class I'm gonna do a lot of balance too. So I'll see you next week. Thank you all, thank you all. <laughs> Told you I can't talk tonight. <laughs> uh.
Oh, good. I'm glad you thought they were fun, Carol. <laughs> I love all of that stuff. It's it's really cool. And you're very welcome. Thanks, Carolyn. Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful evening. I'll see you next Tuesday. Oh, this class can we do it again? I'm having trouble getting my foot to move through my legs from downward dog. Any tips? Yes. Um, you know what you can do for that? That That is something that I didn't used to be able to do either, Susan. Um, at first, if you have yoga blocks, put your hands on yoga blocks. If you have a chair, and I mean, it sounds like a really um, big regression, but if you have a chair, you can put your hands on a chair in front of you as you work on bringing your legs forward until you have the strength, because a lot of it's gonna come from um, your lower core if you can't get that leg through. Um, sometimes it's just upper body strength too. So that way it will definitely help you if your hands are propped up on either side with the yoga blocks, which if you're still there, it looks like this. You would have your yoga blocks. You can even have them this way this way or this way. So any of those ways, your back, you can bring that foot through a lot easier. Now you do have to watch the wrists on that too and make sure that those blocks are steady because you don't wanna tweak your wrists at all, but hopefully that helps you. Let me know, Susan. All right, thanks, Barb. Thank you, Chris. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah. Upper body arms. Um, a really good thing to do with that is just the two movements like we did last week from plank to downward dog. Just try those back and forth, back and forth. Then all of a sudden you'll be strong and ready to do it. All right. I'll see you all next week. Bye.